And we're back with our hour-long show here on the screen team. We're into half hour number two, and we have some some new guests to introduce. And uh, we have a familiar face, one of our favorites, Miss Chelsea. Chelsea, it's good to have you back on the screen team, my friend. Hey. That's all you got for me? <laughs> I haven't seen you like in five months, and you're like... Hey, what's up? I mean, I figured our friendship was close enough that I didn't have to <laughs> remind you how awesome I was. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Um, you have brought a guest. I have. You, you have brought somebody into our, our inner circle to talk about movies. Would you do the introductions, please? I would like to introduce to everybody Matthew Jackson. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I have not known Chris for five months, so I don't have anything extra. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, um, first off, uh, how did you meet this crazy, crazy lady? Uh, I'm randomly, crazy. by chance, at Hastings. <laughs> really? She tells the story a lot better than I do, so. Dude, is it a good story? Oh, it's an amazing story. Right, we got time? Go ahead. Do we have time? Yeah, go ahead. Deep into the wilderness. All right, let's, of- <laughs> let's, let's fast forward to the good stuff. All right, come on. <laughs> uh, Matt actually was hanging out with a friend of his, and I was hanging out with a friend of mine. Mm-hmm. Came through the parking lot. He waved at me. I waved back. Then, as I got out of my vehicle, he proceeded to ask me if I was ready for the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. And how did you react to that? Uh, I kind of shrugged my shoulders and I said, yeah, yeah, I guess. Man, true love came from zombies. Right? You that's gotta... how, I mean, that's the point of zombies, right? <laughs> that's cool, man. Well, I tell you what, man, it's very, very cool to have you guys both on the, uh, on the scene this week. Uh, Chelsea, what are the movies we have uh, for, this, for this show? Well, we've got <laughs> The Big Green which was actually picked by Matthew okay. and uh, Victor Frankenstein mm-hmm. and St. Vincent. Okay. Should be a very, very good show. Uh, Matt, before we get into the big green, I, I know that uh, you are a movie lover. Mm-hmm. Uh, what kind of movies uh, are you into, man? Uh, pretty much anything sci-fi. Uh, obviously, no chick flicks. I'm a guy. <laughs> there's there's a few that I mean, I can, I can tolerate, but yeah. pretty much anything as long as it has a good storyline and good acting. So I'm assuming because you said sci-fi that you're into the Star Wars saga, right? Yes, I'm very much a Star Wars fan. I can even watch some Star Trek. I was getting ready to ask if you if yeah. you can do both. I can do both, but I prefer Star Wars every time. So Cool, cool. Um, well, this first uh, movie is The Big Green. It's a movie you picked. Why was this uh, a movie that uh, you wanted to showcase for us? It was a movie that I watched when I was younger. It kind of plays on uh, like the Little Giants and... Uh, Mighty Sandlot. Ducks and Sandlot. Mm-hmm. It was just the soccer version of that type. Uh, it's also about a small town with nothing to do, and I'm from Puxico, which is a small <laughs> town with nothing to do. So for some reason, I just had it when I was a kid and just really yeah. liked it. So, so I so I'm assuming the first time you saw it was when when you were uh, younger. Yeah, um, did a, Did you see it in theaters or was it a? It was a random VHS <laughs> tape that my mom and dad had bought, mm-hmm. and it was just. I mean, it just showed up in my room one day, and I just liked it and always watched it. And then when I became older in college, I bought the DVD and yeah. watched it probably once or twice a year. <laughs> so, um, I actually watched this for the first time uh, a few days ago, and you're right, man. It's definitely in the same kind of category as Sandlot and uh, you know Little Giants and and uh, some of those uh, particular movies. Uh, you've got these these kids, and they're not only misfits on the soccer field; they're also misfits in the classroom as well, right? Right. Um, and uh, the beginning of the story, he introduced them to their brand new teacher, who is the very beautiful, the very lovely Olivia Diablo. That's really not her name, but that's the best I can do. I don't. What? <laughs> what? What's wrong? Why are we? Well, okay, first of all, mm, yes, you can't critique a movie unless you know who the people are. I mean, how dare you? Okay, well, what's her name then? Mm. <laughs> Matthew, this is your movie. <laughs> nope, nope. I don't know her name. I just know it's the hot uh, teacher that comes from England. So that's right. how I always defined her. So she's she's having issues with the uh, the class. So she decides to kind of teach them soccer to kind of I guess have better morals and ideals of themselves and to kind of get them in as a group so they can learn better. Correct? Is that the yes? They the kids find it very boring and very. Uh, no reason to learn, mm-hmm. so she tries to engage them through football, and then that's soccer to us Americans. <laughs> so, <laughs> what a loser! <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, along their along their trials, they uh, they meet uh, who's who's the the awesome team? They're called the Knights, right? Right. And the Knights, they're 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 bad, man. Top of the line. Top of the line. So they're like the like the first game they beat them like. Just insane amount, right? right? 
Um, so they're kind of defeated, but they kind of keep getting better with uh, the reassurance of Steve Gutenberg, the uh, police officer and, and obviously a teacher. And they get better and they face the Knights in the very end, but we don't want to give away what happens at the end. Um, so Chelsea... We want to hear from you. Oh, do you? Yes. Is it my turn? You've got the male perspective. Let's hear the female perspective. Okay. Here we go. I I generally enjoyed the movie. Yeah. I did sort of miss the reason of soccer, the whole point of it, engaging them, but I found it fun and playful at the same time. I just, a lot that was hinted in the movie was it being a, a small town, a lot of people were struggling financially, and I was wondering when they were going to kick off on that and they never did it was just mostly about the kids and that's fine it's a family movie um i mean majority of the fact is i i liked it but i guess i'm a little too old to really see the the point of the movie (laughs) (laughs) you guys are like the same age right oh no not really i'm older whoa she's also bad at math Um, so, what did you think of the acting? Did you guys like the the actors and the acting in this uh, in this film? Steve Gutenberg, Olivia Diabo or Diablo, whatever her name is. Well, as a young kid, you don't really pay attention to that, and as you get older, you kind of just realize that it is like a family fun movie, mm-hmm. and that doesn't have to have great acting. So, so you kind of just get over it and right. just accept it. It's not stellar by any means, but you, it's not horrible. I think I was more excited the, about the kid from Sandlot. Mm-hmm. Being in there. There's actually two kids from Sandlot in that film. Oh, excuse me. Do you know who the other one was? I, I don't. The, the kid with the glasses? Squints? Anybody? Nobody? Mm. I guess you're not <laughs> as old as you thought. <laughs> <clears throat> um, okay, so family film. Uh, you think kids nowadays will, will dig this kind of film? This movie yeah, came out in, in 95. Do you think the, the millennials will, will dig this? If you're a young kid that has anything to do with sports, it, like like we said, mm-hmm. it, it goes along with Little Giants and Mighty Ducks. You're going to like it. Chelsea? Absolutely. Yeah. Great. Okay. It's called uh, The Big Green. You can find it on DVD. I actually found it uh, streaming on Netflix, so a lot of different locations you can find it. Coming up after the break, we're going to review new to DVD, the new Bill uh, Murray film. Uh, it's called uh, St. Vincent. We'll get to that next on today's talk, 930 KWOC.